Let's welcome the engineers. Once again, good evening, hockey fans. Welcome to Rensselaer in Houston Fieldhouse for tonight's ECAC matchup between the Tigers of Princeton University and your home standing engineers of Rensselaer. Let's meet tonight's starting lineups first. The visitors from Princeton, starting in the goal, number 33, Colton Finney. On defense, number four, Josh Tevis. At right defense, number 25, Tommy Davis. The starting forward line for Princeton. At left wing, number 21, Ryan Kuffner. At center, number 15, Max Verono. And at right wing for Princeton, number 11, Alex Rich. The rest of the Princeton Tigers and their head coach, Ron Fogarty. And our fans, tonight's RPI starting lineup brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts do dark roast plan, featuring the bold start and a smooth finish, just like your engineers. Leading the engineers on the ice tonight, please welcome the junior engineer, Cassidy Zimmerman. Starting in the goal, a senior from Winnipeg, Manitoba, number 33, Jason Castor. On the fence, a senior from Williamsville, New York, the captain number 24, Chris Bradley. And right in the fence, a sophomore from Oakville, Ontario, number 19, Mike Prakovesis. The starting forward line for the engineers at left wing, a junior from Rochester, New York, number 14, Riley Morbinet. At center, he's a senior from Prior Lake, Minnesota. Number seven, Zach Schrader. And then right wing, a sophomore from Adina, Minnesota. Number 23, Lou Nanny. The rest of the engineers and their head coach is Seth Dapper. Assistant coaches are Brian Vines and Nolan Graham. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please rise and remove your hats as the RPI Pep Band will play the national anthems of Canada and the United States of America.
you're listening to 91.5 FM WRPI story coverage of engineer Man Taki. Ed Begarry along with Kurt Scott on the call for you from the Houston Fieldhouse and Senior Night. Before we get started with the first period of play, we'd like to thank the Rensselaer Union for the rest of funding for WRPI and all plug related activities of the Institute, including, including WRPI's coverage of men's and women's ice hockey, football, and baseball uh, later on in the season. We'd also like to thank you for listening out on the World Wide Web. Uh, if, you, if you can get to a computer, WRPI is on the World Wide Web. Point your present to www.wrpi.org and you can hear our broadcast 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So long as WRPI is broadcasting, we're broadcast broadcast on the internet feed. Once again, it is www.wrpi.org. Also reminder, WRPI is seeking current RPI students to make live calls on games such as this one here between RPI and Princeton. There are opportunities this season to get on here for baseball. Next season for uh, football and hockey when we start uh, when we start up again in the fall. If you're interested, shoot us an email at wrpi-sports at rpi.edu. Also, we have to mention the women's hockey team made the playoffs. They had an eight seed in the women's playoffs. So we'll talk about that during the first interview. That's correct. Teams are getting ready at center ice. It brings it going left to right, RPI right to left. Of course, your radio dial here in period number one. The officials tonight, Kevin Graper and Tori Carissimo, the lines with Jason Shaddy and Dan Taggart. RPI wins the opening draw here in the Houston Fieldhouse in Troy, New York. Dump the puck into the Princeton zone. Tiger along near ice boards, can't get it out. Borbonet keeps it in, dumps it back behind the net. Taken there by Tevis. Around the boards to the far side, Princeton can't move the puck out again. RPI's been keeping along the half boards briefly. Now the Tigers get it across into the neutral zone. The other way, Verano brings the puck into the RPI zone. Verano behind the net, gets hit. This is the puck off to Rich. Back to Virano behind the net. Got some skating room. Tries to bring it out front. Can't. Goes out to the point. Davis sends it towards net. Does not save by Kasdorf. It actually hits another Tiger out front and knocks it into the corner. And now it's cleared out by RPI. 40 seconds gone by here. Period number one. No score. RPI versus Princeton. Tigers in their road, well, basically black jerseys. I think it's orange and brown are the colors, which basically black. They'll jump the puck in again. Engineers to the near half boards, not out of the zone, kept in by Hallisey. Now the engineers swing it around to the far eye side. Can they get it out? No, shot from the faceoff circle on the far side. Misses the net entirely. Actually missed a crease and goes cross ice. Pompey sends the puck behind the RPI net. Nobody there for the Tigers to handle it after it gets knocked from around the net. And then the engineers turn it over in the neutral zone, swung right back to RPI by the Tigers and dumped in by RPI. Lilzegren goes into the far corner as RPI is changing up personnel behind the play. Tigers are over there. Pompey has the puck underneath him. Three Tigers, two engineers near the net. Uh, now the puck to the far corner. It's underneath Robinson for Princeton. We've got an engineer down on the ice being hit by a Tiger. Uh, they're both going to get up. That was Lilzegren who was down getting hit. They'll both get up. Referee watched that. No advantage for either side, so no call being made. Tigers turn the puck over the neutral zone and they dump it in and taken by Princeton. I'm getting a little confused here. Not really much going on in the first two minutes of action here at Detroit. No score RPI versus Princeton. Puck's in the near corner of the RPI zone now. Tiger goes down. That'll be a penalty against RPI as Skirbrink was knocked into the boards in the corner. We're going to get a boarding? Yeah, we're going to get a boarding call here. So 17.58 left to play in the first. No score RPI and Princeton. Princeton goes on the first power play of the game. So uh, for RPI on the penalty kill, they are 84.3%, that's 97 for 115. So they get an early opportunity here in the first to improve on that number. Princeton's looking at 13.7% on the man advantage. They drop the puck, RPI wins the face off and they'll clear it down ice. On net, has to be played. <laughs> Had to be played by Finney, and then it goes off to his left because he didn't play it cleanly. He misses the net, obviously. You'd be a lot more celebrating. Near side shot saved by Kasdorf. If Princeton brought it in cleanly, Kuffner with the shot, and Kasdorf sees that all the way. That was almost a mirror image of the goal that Quinnipiac scored last night to win the game. Uh, this time facing Kasdorf for it. 1738 left to play in the first no score of RPI and Princeton. Face off to the left of Kasdorf back in the RPI zone. Won by the Tigers. They'll get it out to the point for Grabowski. Long, long the blue line, knocked out of the zone by Bourbonnet as it was a bad pass by Ambrosia. Princeton, near corner. Engineer falls down on his own. 
And RPI can't keep the puck in this Princeton zone. Huffner brings it across. Cross ice pass. It was a little bit too hard as he was looking for Vireno. And it goes all the way to the far side. And he just dump it into the Princeton zone. This Princeton power play going nowhere at the moment as they're having trouble getting it out of their own zone. Palisey feeds it back from behind the net. Vireno gets the red line. Drop pass. Princeton now crosses the blue line. They're in the zone. Right up front shot saved by Kasdorf. Pucks loose on the rebound. Another shot saved by Kasdorf and goes to the far right corner. Tigers get it in the faceoff circle. Another shot hits an engineer and RPI clears. RPI allowed Princeton basically to go into the zone almost unopposed and allow them point blank shots. Kasdorf there though makes the saves. 40 seconds left in this power play for the Tigers, no score, 16 and a half to go here in period number one in Troy. Tigers weave their way across the blue line. Davis goes into the far corner, leaves the puck there. Princeton, they'll turn it over behind the net and it's cleared down ice by Bradley. 20 seconds left in the power play now for the Tigers. Blue line, Nelson dishes it off to his left, dumped into the zone, engineers poke at it, can't get it out of the zone. Nelson has it along the near boards, Sends it in towards the net, stopped in the faceoff circle by Hampton, and he'll dump the puck down ice. There's five seconds to go here in the power play for the Tigers. This, that's going to do it for the man advantage. Our Tigers 0 for 1 as we're back to five side. side. Engineers have the puck in the Princeton zone from the blue line. A shot from Grant gets deflected and misses. Now we've got a penalty coming up here in the neutral zone as the engineers will touch up and they'll get a chance to go back into the pe penalty box as Princeton's going on the power play again. Yep, just as they killed off the first one, they go right back into the penalty box. Uh, RPI's got to settle down right now. They, they, you know, we've seen a couple bad bounces and, and Colton Finney give up a few rebounds. Uh, this is going to be an interference call and it's going to be... Grant. Yep, Grant against uh, for RPI on the interference, so again, Princeton will go right back on the power play. 15.42 left to play in the first, no score. Face off to the left of Pazdorf. Halsey on the face off for Princeton, wins it back to Grabowski at the point. They're gonna go cross ice on the blue line, back to the board, Princeton, you know, and now it's gonna get cleared out by RPI. Miller sends it down on net, actually. For instance, power play clicking a little better than RPI's this year by about, what? Well, coming in 1.6% with the numbers higher. Princeton into the RPI zone again. Shot off Hasdorff's face mask and comes into the near ice corner. Grabowski had come down from the blue line to take that shot. Along the boards near side, RPI clears it down ice. You can see why Princeton has trouble winning games. Uh, some of the passes and the plays they're making. Sometimes they look good, but sometimes not good at all. Across the blue line comes Davis and he feeds it back. Princeton along the near ice boards. They're into the zone. Puck back to the blue line. Sabo sends it off the boards far side as Princeton had everybody mostly on the near side. Puck went far side and now dumped down ice by the engineers. One minute to go in this Princeton power play. Not a lot of life in the building right now. We're over five gone by here in period number one. No score between RPI and Princeton. Davis, blue line, red line. Davis weaves along the blue line, brings the puck in. Off the glass to the far ice side. Hampton stops it along the boards. Back out to the point, though, kept in by Princeton. Along the near blue line to Davis. He's going to send it over to the far side for Tevis. Princeton now along the half boards. Back to the blue line for Tevis. His shot saved by Kasdorf. Goes off the stick, pops up, and comes down into the near corner. And they struggle in the corner now as players from each side fall down. Goes out to the blue line. Davis has trouble handling it and ends up feeding it back to Bourbonnet. Bourbonnet into the Tiger zone. His shot goes off the shoulder of Finney. Gloved down in the faceoff circle. And the Tigers just hand pass in the in their own zone. There'll be a faceoff back in the Princeton side of the ice. Yeah, uh, Riley Bourbonnet showing the speed and RPA definitely a little faster than Princeton uh, is on the ice right now. And Bourbonnet just shot it and Colton Fitty there to make the save. He went high. Fitty had to jump a little to make the save, but he made the save nonetheless. 14-01 left to play in the first. No score. 20 seconds left in Grant's penalty. Face off to the left of Finney in the Princeton zone. Finney seen most of his action has been from some long shots coming down ice on clears that he didn't look all that good on, or at least solid. Princeton, 10 seconds left in the power play. They're second of the game. They'll dump the puck in. Because of the stoppage of play, they couldn't change up their lines. They'll do that now as the power play expires here in Troy. Back to five aside. Princeton 0 for 2 on the power play. Both teams 0 for 0. No score in tonight's game. Engineers break it out. Near side, Nanny along left wing boards. Face off circle. Nanny now goes behind the net. To the far right side. Nanny 
Backhands it into the corner. Back there, the engineers, Fulton, gets it to Rubella. Rubella behind the net, almost tripped up. Rubella keeps his balance. Puck goes up along the board. Rubella now sticks it into the near corner, follows up on that, has the puck underneath him, gets hit by Pompey. Crowd's reacting to that, won't be a call on it. The engineers prevent the puck from going out. Nanny gets a little bit of enough, or gets enough of the puck to keep it in the corner. Now they're going to lose it, as Hallisey has it for Princeton and dumps the puck the other way. It stopped at the RPI blue line. Engineers cross ice pass. Near side for Fulton. Red line. Fulton, blue line. Fulton try to pass. It hits a tiger. Rodriguez has it for RPI. No place to go with it, but had defeated back, and it goes to Moore on D. Engineers dump it in. Tigers are right there to take the puck, but don't move quickly enough, and Sabo had trouble clearing it. Pompey gets it over to the far ice side. Tigers dump it down ice. Hits Moore in the neutral zone. Moore now brings a puck into the, R into the RPI zone, and the Tigers are going to follow up on that. A collision kind of behind the net. Puck's underneath Skirbrick. Stolen away by Orval. Orval on the far side. Sent it towards the blue line, but it was behind Rodriguez. And that allows the Tigers to get the puck. Back to Nelson in the Princeton zone, into the neutral zone. Tipped on the correct side of the red line, and that prevents an icing. Puck in the RPI side of the ice again. Near ice side, engineers, Wilson, neutral zone. Turns it right over to Anderson for Princeton. He dumps it down ice, and is Princeton offsides? Yes. Princeton was just a little bit offsides. Um and that got the whistle. 12 0 1 left to play in the first. No score RPI and Princeton shots right now. 4 to 2 in favor of the Tigers. Uh, that's a little misleading though, as a lot of RPI shots came in from uh, long distance. Uh, so 12 0 1 left to play in the first. No score. It'll be a center ice faceoff. Engineers win it. Near side Wilson. Back to Grant. Far side, Orval into the zone, turned over to the Tigers just inside the blue line. Princeton, go across the blue line and clear it into the crowd. It's pretty high up there. You don't get them that high up usually in the crowd. And play stops. No, and a nice catch by the fan over there. He just reached his hand up and uh, pulled it out of the air for so looking like Jason Kasdorf. On that, not letting up the rebound, which was good. 11.48 left to play in the first. No score, RPI and Princeton. Face off just outside the Tigers zone. Puck's dropped. Who's got it? Tigers. Back to the Tiger D. Near side for Davis. He sends it cross ice for Tevis. Along the blue line. Tigers. Tevis gets some room. Into the RPI zone. Takes a shot. Kasdorf holds on to it with the glove. And will stop play again. 11.32 left to play in the first. No score RPI in Princeton. RPI sort of just uh, waiting it out against Princeton right now. They, they want to try to get their offense going. Nothing doing. Ice is tilted. Um, in Princeton's favor right now, but Kasdorf up to the challenge, and uh, this game is scoreless. Face off to the right of Kasdorf. Gubella out there against Rich, won by the Engineers. Bradley, neutral zone. Tipped ahead, Gubella, near side DeVito into the Princeton zone. Two players from each, or one player from each side, two players going into the corner looking for this one. Along the half boards, DeVito. Backhander into the corner. Grubella has the puck underneath and now moves to the faceoff circle. Grubella gets some free space into the slot, turn shot, and it hits off a defender and goes into the near corner as Lozegren had really the first good opportunity for the engineers. Tigers get some space. D, move it out to the neutral zone. Hit in the air by an engineer, so Verono didn't have a shot at getting that puck at the blue line. Engineers send the puck into the Princeton zone. Tigers on the far side. Brad, no, no, pardon, not Bradley, Pompey. Backhands the puck down ice, goes into the RPI zone. Engineers chasing after it. Behind the net, RPI the other way. Moore, blue line, red line. Moore, blue line, RPI's offsides. Schrader couldn't stay on the blue line. Yeah, I think Moore, I think uh, Schrader was expecting Moore to pass, and he, he sort of went in his own trying to field the pass, and Moore had other ideas, which resulted in Zach Schrader being offsides. 10.35, left to play in the first, no score, RPI and Princeton here on senior night. Face off just outside the Princeton zone in front of the RPI bench. Won by the engineers who are doing a better job with the faceoff, particularly if you compare that to the Harvard game uh, last weekend. Engineers keep it in at the blue line as Moore stops it from going out. Moore sends it to the side of the net, goes to the faceoff circle. Engineers having trouble finding 
shooting lanes or even clear possession in the zone. Back to the blue line. Shot from the blue line is saved by Finney, whose name I don't get to mention a whole lot so far today. That was a Hampton shot from the far point. Tigers find the puck, can't clear it out. Nanny gets hit as he pulled the puck out of the air, and now it's across the blue line and sent down nice by the Tigers. Icing is waved off as the engineers, they deem the engineers could have played that puck. And Grant takes it for RPI. Sends it down ice. Penalty coming up, I believe, against Princeton. Yeah, that should be a hit from behind. Or an interference. Gonna well, call, gonna call an interference call. 947 left to play in the first. No score. RPI and Princeton. RPI will go on their first power play of the night as Matt Nelson goes into the penalty box. And on the power play so far, RPI is 11 for 91, which is 12.1%. On power play, so they will get a chance to improve that number uh, as well. Princeton killing at 80.8%. Not a good number. Prince. Forbenay on the faceoff for RPI to the right of Finney. Engineers back to the point. Moore across ice on the far side. Prafavesis back to Moore. Prafavesis now at center point. Looks, looks, looks. Rodriguez along the far boards. Near side. Prafavesis. Prafavesis sends it cross ice. Orval. Orval down low. It was Orval when they said Rodriguez before. Orval now has it in the slot. He takes a shot. Finney just gloves it. Don't know if that was on net, but he'll take the stoppage. Yeah, Orval actually put a nice shot in on that on Finney, and Finney just gloved it down. There was an RPI player, I think it was Lou Nanny, uh, right on the doorstep, uh, but no rebound by Finney. Good job by him. 921 left to play in the first, no score. Wood on the faceoff against Ciro, won by the Engineers. Moore, Prapavesis center point. Prapavesis over to the far ice side for Wood. Wood gets it back again from the corner. Prapavesis center point to Wood. Princeton pretty aggressive right now, challenging the RPI players. Prapavesis brings it near side. His shot deflects, goes over on the top of the net, bounces off the top of the net, and goes behind the net. So the deflection sent it up too high. And it doesn't go in for RPI. Engineer still with possession. Wood along the far half boards. His shot hits an engineer out front. Loose just out front. And Finney's going to glove it. And Finney's looking very good right now. Yeah, Finney is looking very good for Princeton as there was a scrum out in front. And uh, I don't know how Finney saw that, but he jumped out and covered the puck. Uh, 8.46 remain in the first. RPI and Princeton. RPI uh, missing out on a goal of deflection sent up above the net. Engineers win the faceoff to the left of Finney. Back to the blue line, Prapavestis. Center point, sends it over to Arval. Down low for Borbonet. Back to the blue line on the deflection to Prapavestis. And now back to the corner. Face off to Gravelli, shot saved by Finney, loose to the near side, and then backhanded out by the Tiger D. Engineers set that up very nicely. Uh, Finney did make the save. Big rebound, though, doesn't bounce RPI's way. 30 seconds left in the power play. Engineers are back in the zone. Borbonet on the far side, into the corner. Back out to the blue line. Prapavesis moves to the near ice point. Center point for Wilson. Over to the far ice side. Orval loses the puck and Princeton clears. There's 15 seconds left on this power play for RPI. Eight to go first period. No score RPI versus Princeton. Behind the net, Wilson. Five seconds to go in the power play. Wilson, neutral zone. To the right, Hampton has trouble playing that. And that does it. Back to five aside Princeton here at the Fieldhouse. RPI 0 for 1 on the man advantage. Moore brings the puck into the zone. His shot saved by Finney. Big rebound. Goes out to the faceoff circle. Another shot there by Lil Zagrin gets deflected and then moved out of the zone by the Tigers. Along the far ice side, swing, swinging the puck into the middle where the Tigers, uh, just looking for anybody, was Skirbrick. Nobody was there. Puck along the far half boards. Princeton changing behind this as the power play unit was still out there. Puck goes loose into the slot and moved over to the left. Now the engineers are into the other zone. Lil Zagrin, his shot goes off the leg of Pompey to the far right side. Engineers, Miller, backhander, Lil Zagrin. Lil Zagrin gets hit. Miller comes in trying to get the puck away. Pompey is in there hitting Miller. Tigers now have it. Blind backhand pass to the far side is enough on it to get it to Rankin. Rankin clears it down ice, but this is icing against the Tigers. 6.54 remains in the first. No score, RPI in Princeton. RPI, not a bad power play. A little too many passes. I think Prapper Vessels could have shot it a few times instead of playing with it on the blue line. Uh, but, you know, they control play on the power play nonetheless, uh, but nothing to show for it. Face off to the left of Finney. Engineers get it in the corner. Rodriguez 
Brings it behind the net to the near eye side. Back out towards the blue line. Papavestis has trouble playing the puck. Sends it over to the far ice boards. Now it's sent into the center ice area. Tigers pull the puck into the RPI zone. Falling down on the play was zero. And as Princeton was executing a change after the icing, the Tigers can't keep it in the RPI side of the ice. Engineers send the puck into the Princeton zone. Near eye side in the corner. Fulton gets it behind the net. Rodriguez. Half boards. Backhander into the corner for Fulton. Fulton has trouble handling the puck. Nelson's hitting him. Fulton gets it back again. Oh, now coming in there was Gillespie, and the Tigers now dump it back into the corner. Anderson did that. RPI is going to switch up. That gives the Tigers some space, and they're playing with the puck in the far corner, not really moving it down ice. And do they get a break? Yes, a break in the other direction for the Tigers. Virano takes it in on net and saved by Kasdorf. Virano didn't really get a shot off until he was near the red line, and Kasdorf got the left leg out there, and the pad stopped the shot from going in. Yeah, I think Virano wanted to uh, flick a shot right over Kasdorf's outstretched pad, uh, but Virano whiffed on the shot, and Kasdorf was right there to uh, cover up. 5.53 left to play in the first. Yeah, that's, exact, that's what happened on the replay. 5.53 left to play in the first, no score, RPI and Princeton. Kasdor coming up huge on that one. Verano with the breakaway as the Tigers found him right at the RPI blue line. Face off to the left of Kasdorf, tied up on the circle. The RPI player falls down, puck goes into the corner, and it's taken by the Tigers. Swung back out to the circle, and now back out to Davis at the blue line. Davis dishes the puck off to the side. Loose in the slot now. Engineers get there first, knock it into the corner, or pardon me, on along the side half boards, but the Tigers get it, and now the net's off its moorings right as Foster's shot came in. The net had been knocked off, whistle blew, so play stops. Yeah, it looks like a Princeton uh, player knocked it off. So the faceoff is going to come out of the zone. 535 left to play in the first. No score, RPI in Princeton. And Princeton really has had the uh, bulk of the play shots, 8-6 to six right now. But a lot of those shots were on the power play for RPI. 535 left to play in the first, no score. Faceoff just outside the RPI bench, or outside the RPI zone in front of the RPI bench. Bourbonnet against Gerbrick. Dropped and won by the Tigers. Back to their D. Tevis, near side for Davis. Neutral zone, into a crowd. Zero, pulls it down. Brings it across the blue line. His backhand pass goes to nobody. And then the engineers turn it right over in the neutral zone. Dumped in off a Princeton stick that was off Rankin's stick. He goes racing into the corner, gets to the buck. Rankin has it on his forehand, but can't do anything with it. Sends it to the near ice corner. The engineers are there. They'll use the glass and send the puck into the neutral zone. Knocked ahead. Bourbonnet brings it along. Along the near ice boards into the faceoff circle behind the net. Bourbonnet goes to the far side. Bourbonnet sends it through the slot. Nobody home. Now Schrader sends it into towards the net. Saved by Finney. And the puck goes loose. Princeton clears it into the corner right into the referee who got involved with the check. You know, bad luck there. Tigers with some space, get at least across the blue line off a deflection from Skirbrick. RPI dumps it back in. 4.35 to go here, period number one. No score, RPI versus Princeton. Puck behind the net for the Tigers. Davis, neutral zone. Tigers into the RPI zone. A pass from Berlin basically to himself off the skate. Now behind the net, looking for Berlin, but it's broken up by Prapovesis in the slot. He prevents the centering pass from getting to a Tiger. Behind the net, Prapovesis takes the puck around to the near ice side. Engineers with some skating room, and they'll send it down ice, and that should be icing against Princeton. It is. Yes, 4-10 left to play in the first. No score, Benigers. RPI in Lovely Princeton. Pass just a little bit too far by Prapovesis, resulting in the icing for the Engineers. And uh, I said it yesterday, Kurt, if we were watching the game, RPI seemed to have trouble so solving the four check of whatever team is playing them. Princeton right now doing a good job um, keeping RPI's offense uh, off the board and not uh, letting Finney see, see the shots. Face off to the left of Kasdorf. One by RPI, Bradley to Prapovestis behind the net. Off the boards, not out. Princeton keeps it in, loose in the slot. Turnaround shot saved by Kasdorf as he suddenly came loose to Verano. And he's had two good opportunities today. Kasdorf has to make another save. Yeah, 3.58 left to play in the first. No score, RPI, Princeton, Kasdorf again making the save. Uh, Princeton uh, putting the puck right in the gut of Jason Kasdorf. And Kasdorf's coming off with the easy save. Um, he really hasn't, he's been tested, yes, but he hasn't really had to make a big save. Face off, controlled by the Tigers as RPI couldn't clear. On the near side, Nelson, his shot hits off an engineer to the neutral zone. 
RPI, Lozegren can't get to the puck in time. Princeton's retreated out of the zone, but then they end up sending the puck all the way back to Anderson in their zone. RPI following up on this, trying to get possession of the puck. Princeton still has it, though. They backed it up, and they'll get it out into the neutral zone, but then turn it over to Grubella. Grubella gets the red line and dumps it in. Three and a half to go in the first, no score. Finney stops that as it comes off the boards towards the net. Tigers to the far side, stopped from going out by DeVito. Engineers in the far corner, DeVito to the half board. DeVito turns, dumps the puck down low. Lozegren behind the net, takes it. Moves into the corner to the half boards. Lozegren back out towards the blue line. Sends the puck into the near corner. Moore is there for RPI, pinching down low. The Brubella, his shot saved by Finney, as Brubella was clear in the face-off circle, and, but Finney was positioned perfectly for him in that situation. And then finally, Princeton gets out of trouble. The other way into the RPI zone. Kuffner falls down along the boards as he gets hit by Brubella. Uh, we got a tripping call, looks like, coming up here against Princeton. It looks like it's going to go against Kuffner as he tripped up an engineer. Princeton touches up. RPI gets their second power play of the game. 2.43 left to play in the first. No score. RPI Princeton. RPI going on their second power play. No one looked like they wanted to play the puck back to Kasdorf as Kasdorf was going to go to the bench. Puck was just drop past uh, to him. Um, and obviously Kasdorf didn't play the puck, which enabled Princeton to touch up. 2.43 left to play in the first. No score. Verano actually on the trip. Now that I look at the replay, it's clearly Verano. So not Kuffner, Verano in the box for Princeton. Princeton. RPI 0 for 1 on the man advantage. Opportunity number two, face off to the left of Finney. Engineers back to Krapovesis at the point. Rubella along the boards. Behind the net, near Finney, he's going to stick the puck into the corner. Rubella for the engineers, gets hit. Tevis and Rubella. The puck's underneath Tevis right now, kind of in the corner. A five-man scrum for this one. It comes loose. Backhanded behind the net by the Tigers. Far corner, fanning on trying to get it out with Skirbrick. And Davis comes in along with Skirbrick in the corner. A couple of the three engineers once again. Finally along the boards, Tevis gets it and sends it down ice. 120 to go in this power play for RPI. Two minutes to go here in the first, no score. Engineers, Prapovets is at the blue line. Near side for Wilson. Puck goes into the zone. Wilson dumped it in, Tigers get it, and they'll clear it right back out again. Right, kind of goes on net. I don't know if that's really would have or not, and Kasdorf wasn't going to take a chance, so he's going to play it and leave it back for the D. 55 seconds left on the power play. Prapovesis to Schrader on the far side. Blue line, Schrader's into the zone. He takes a shot right into Finney's gut, and he holds on to it. Yeah, uh, Colton Finney held on to it, and uh, Mark Miller right there to try to get a rebound just takes a... Uh Quick shot in on Finney and uh, gets a little push for his troubles. 133 left to play in the first. No score, RPI and Princeton. Face off to the left of Finney. Puck's drop goes into the corner. Miller follows up. He no, pardon me, that was DeVito who took the face off and followed up into the corner. Engineers back out to the blue line. Schrader to Moore, more shot. And Finney somehow saw that through a crowd. Engineer Miller got dumped right afterwards in front of the crease. Won't be anything on that, and we'll get another face-off in the Princeton zone. Well, not so much as Finney saw it, as I think the momentum slowed it, hit the, hit the screen out in front of the net, and uh, it gave Finney just enough time to, to see it. 121 left to play in the first, no score, RPI Princeton. Miller on the face-off, wins it back to Hampton. Hampton sends it cross ice, big drive, and it hits somebody out front. That must have hurt. That was a more shot from the blue line. Puck to the far half board, still in the zone. RPI has maintained possession. Well, at least kept the puck in the zone. Moore has it in the corner. Moore to Schrader in the slot. His shot hits off the leg of one of the Tigers in the slot and doesn't find the net. DeVito, face-off circle, back to Schrader. Far side shot, and that hits off a defender. That goes off Nelson into the corner as RPI son in the shooting lanes all clogged up. Hampton has it along the blue line. His shot from the slot hits a Tiger right out front, and the Tigers kicking the puck around in the slot, finally get it along the board, and the man coming out, Verano coming out of the penalty box, gets the puck. Verano going down, nice backhander, saved by Cadford, and he'll hold on. Yeah, that was unfortunate for RPI as there was a scrum in front of the net. One of the Princeton defenders lost their stick. He was involved in the scrum, so he was kicking at the puck and kicking at the puck. He got it, and he, he got it free. Uh, one of the RPI players tried to knock it back just at the same time as Verano was coming out of the box, resulting in the breakaway. Nice hustle uh, by the RPI defender uh, to get just enough of Verano 
so he didn't get a good shot on 34.6 seconds left to play in the first, no score. Barron actually moved that back to his forehand for the final shot. I thought the backhand was what put it on net, but he actually got it back to the forehand. Princeton, after the uh, face-off to the right of Kansdorf, shot goes into the netting, and they'll do it all over again. Yeah, 31.2 seconds left to play in the first no-score RPI in Princeton, and uh, Phil Hampton and Jason Kasdorf teaming up to keep this one scoreless as Verano had a great opportunity right out of the box. This time the face-off is won by RPI. Bradley, Lilsgren on the near side. Lilsgren skies one. Princeton zone knocked around. Tigers have it. Backhander, little tip and out of the zone. Engineers at their own blue line. Bradley to the red line, loses control of the puck. Taken in by the Tigers, and Bradley kind of took his guy down. That was Hallisey. I'm kind of surprised he didn't get a call on that. Kind of took him down in the faceoff circle. Engineers with possession. And that's going to do it for the first period. The buzzer sounds, and we have 0 0 tie after 20 minutes, Detroit. 0 0 tie, not a good first period for RPI. Uh, not what they wanted to do is coming out against a team like Princeton, really uh, faster than Princeton and very clearly the better team out on the ice, but they have nothing to show for it. Um, so RPI needs to come out and play like play a second period like they played last night and really take this game over. Fit, uh, but yeah, really no shots unless they're on the power play and then Jason Kasdorf on the other end had to make two uh, saves on the breakaway to keep this one uh, scoreless. But RPI has to do a little bit better uh, if they want to you know, have a chance in this game and come away with two points. A little bit better. They're doing better in face-offs, better in shots, but what Princeton's doing is what RPI does to people. They're blocking a lot of stuff and getting into the shooting lanes. A yeah. lot of RPI shots blocked. A lot of RPI shot block. Also, Princeton uh, doing a good job on the forecheck, and you know we said it before, RPI has to get better at solving uh, forechecks by teams. Otherwise, it's going to be mm -hmm. a, a long playoff uh, season for them. Uh, or a short one. Or a short one, that's right. Um, so we'll be back in a uh, few minutes to bring you the first intermission. We'll run down the uh, women's hockey, uh, the results, and a goal of a playoff seating. So score after one period of play is Princeton 0, RPI 0. You're listening to live coverage of anything hockey at 91.5 FM, WRPI, Troy. <laughs>
Hey fans, don't forget to visit the official online store for RPI Athletics at rpifanshop.com. And after the game, why not visit Ryan Twain, the proud supporter of RPI Athletics. After the game, head downtown, check out the pub kitchen at Ryan Twain.
Architects Hockey would like to thank the following sponsors. The Rensselaer Alumni Association, Nigro Companies, Patterson, Sampson, Ginsburg, and Griffin Law Firm, Sodexo, Subway, The Hilton Garden Inn, Macaluso Wealth Management Group, National Grid Foundation, The Covered Sports Grill, E. Stewart Jones, Hacker and Murphy, Stanley Steamer, CDTA, Stewart's Shops, Rensselaer Honda, Domino's Pizza, Fryhoffers, Turner Construction, and Saratoga Eagle Sales and Services. Welcome back to the Houston Fieldhouse on the campus of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in Troy, New York. For the second period of this evening's game between the RPI Engineers and the Princeton Tigers Senior Night here tonight from the Houston Fieldhouse. Score here after one period of play is Princeton 0, RPI 0. You're listening to a lot of coverage of the game on, the, on your home page. You can hockey 91.5 FM WRPI Troy. At the game, I'm going to let Kirk start on the call for you. Before we get started with the second period of play, we'd like to thank the Rensselaer Union for providing the funding for WRPI and all club-related activities of the Institute, including WRPI's coverage of RPI men's and women's ice hockey, football, and baseball. WRPI is on the World Wide Web. Put your browser to www.wrpi.org. You can hear broadcast 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So long as WRPI is broadcasting, we're proud to broadcast on our internet feed. Once again, that is www.wrpi.org. The WRPI is, seek, is seeking current RPI students to make live calls of the game, such as this one between RPI and Princeton. There are opportunities this season uh, to get on the air for baseball later on. Uh, that's what you want to do. And next season for football and hockey. If interested, uh, give us an email at wrpi-sports at rpi.edu. It'll be RPI left to right, Princeton right to left across your radio dial here in period number two. We are underway after the face-off victory by the engineers. They are also briefly in the Princeton zone. Yep, yeah, yep, briefly in the Princeton zone. Tigers the other way. Can't do anything with a pass. Headed to the blue line for Verano. Engineers with a shot from the far right side. Schrader has it saved by Finney. 
Tevis in the far faceoff circle, gets to the puck, and the Tigers backhanded out of the zone. Tigers into the RPI zone. That doesn't work so well as Rich got hit right after he crossed the blue line. Doesn't do anything with the puck. Now we've got a whistle, high stick. Is this the touch the puck with the high stick? Or the, no, it's touching the puck with the high stick. 1927 left to play in the second. No score RPI in Princeton. Uh, Got to be remiss. I, I went down all the seniors and, uh, before the game started. I missed one. That is uh, Sam Goodman, the uh, third string goaltender here for RPI. Also a senior. Neutralized faceoff won by the Tigers. No score in the first or the second. We're in the second. Yes, the second. Kasdorf stops the puck behind the net. Princeton intercepts along the far half boards. Can't move it towards the net. Foster on the far side. Couldn't win the battle in the corner. Rubella takes it. Tipped ahead by the engineers. Race to the faceoff circle. That is no icing. Engineers get there first. Puck tied up along the boards. Now a backhander by Rubella misses the net as he was trying to move out in front of Finney. Gets the puck in the far right side. Tipped in the slot and the Tigers knock it out of the zone. Tigers get the red line. Looking for Foster up ahead. Puck goes into the far corner. Foster, though, can't get the angle on it. The engineers have it. Grant near side. DeVito in his zone. His clearing attempt hits off the back of Lilzegren. And now Grant takes it out across the blue line. Gets across the Princeton blue line. Grant into the corner. He gets hit by Anderson. Puck underneath Grant. Number of Tigers back there. May get the puck out. Into the neutral zone. Foster crosses the blue line. Shot from the blue line by Robinson. It's deflected and goes into the far corner. Face-off circle. Tigers have a shot. Score! Foster got loose in the face-off circle. And it's 1-0 Princeton. 18-20 left to play in the second. Princeton leads 1-0. And a quick shot by Foster as the defense was non-existent. And Foster just uh, put a quick shot past Jason Kazdov that found the back of the net. And to give Princeton the 1-0 lead here in the second period. A very subdued Houston Fieldhouse crowd right now. Yeah, there's no energy in the building whatsoever. Yeah. There were four engineers surrounding Foster, but nobody was actually near enough to hit him. He was just free in the faceoff circle, and everybody else was around the line circling the faceoff circle. So it's one nothing Princeton. Tigers, or pardon me, RPI offsides going into the Tigers zone. 18-12 left to play in the second. one nothing Princeton on Foster's goal for a start. I mentioned Sam Goodman, the senior. He uh, rose from the club team to be the backup goaltender here a few years ago. Face off. Back to the Tigers' D. This is just outside the Tigers' zone, but, you know, Princeton's having a lot of trouble playing the puck. Now Tevis goes down in the corner. Engineers have it shot, and no, they're going to wash this out. Finney with the save. RPI started celebrating as they sent it into the crease, and it looked to me like a tip, but Finney made the save on it, and no goal for RPI. I mean, RPI thought they had it. I, yeah, I think I think Finney made the initial save, and the, R, the RPI forward that was skating didn't see it. He thought the puck was loose. Um, and Finney had made the initial save, 17.57 left to play in the second, one nothing. Engineers win the faceoff. Bradley with a shot, and that deflects and bounces past Finney. Pucks loose to the side of the net. Engineers, can they get there? It's loose, 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 and the engineers turn it over to the Tigers. Along the far right side, along the half boards, Tigers get it out to the neutral zone, stopped by Bradley for RPI. Bradley, his pass to the blue line for Fulton was tipped by a Tiger. That prevents an icing. Tiger goes down behind the net. Engineers come out with the puck. Fulton behind the net, near side to Grant along the boards. Grant waits, takes a shot, and that's the flex off Rodriguez into the corner. Rodriguez trying for the tip there, ends up sending it the wrong way. Berlin along the boards doesn't play the puck in time. He goes underneath Fulton in the corner. Back out to the blue line for Grant. Grant's waiting. Dumps the puck off the back boards, off the bottom of the net to the far side for Fulton. Fulton along the boards. To the blue line. Wilson's shot hits a Tiger right out front. And that was Ambrosia who had it hit him. Puck at center ice, dumped in by the engineers and almost hit the linesman on the far side. No score here, 16.50 to go, period number two. Print, oh no, we're pitching up one nothing. 16.50 to go, second period. Need to get the score correct. It's very, very important. Princeton, blue line, red line, dumps it in. Along the near boards, Kuffner. Centering pass to the slot, nobody there but RPI. Schrader breaks the other way. Schrader, he's shot from the faceoff circle, is blocked, never makes it on net, and he takes a tumble as he gets hit into the boards. Crowd kind of wanted to call on that. They're not going to get it. Princeton breaks the other way. Faceoff circle, backhander, and they almost make the connection as they had Rich streaming towards the net. Rich just couldn't get there in time to get to the puck. That was a nice setup, except for the ending part. RPI. 
trying to send it in on net was Nanny, and that deflection goes all the way back to the RPI zone. 16 to go here, period number two. Princeton one, RPI nothing. I noticed you didn't initially correct me on the score before there, Ed. That was bad form on your part, too. <laughs> I figured you realized that. You were counting on me. I like that. <laughs> Princeton with the puck in the neutral zone and kicked ahead, tied up, and Lilsgren the other way now. Left wing side, Lilsgren crosses the blue line, face off circle, his shot saved by Finney, pops up and goes out of play. No, yes, 15:38 uh, left to play in the second. I had thought Finney held on to it, uh, but it did go out of play. Uh, so one nothing, Princeton leads RPI on uh, Foster's goal. Uh, they just snapped it past Kasdorf, so that's where we stand. A very uninspired play so far from RPI. Face off to the right of Finney in the Princeton zone. It's RPI left to right, Princeton right to left across the Greater Dallas period number two. From the blue line, Bradley shot. Can't find Twine. And off the rebound, Princeton has it. Foster with the goal, sends it in towards the net. It goes over the net, actually, and Kasdorf just watched it go by. RPI sends it the other way, and this will be icing against the engineers. 15-20 left to play in the second. Still 1-0 Princeton on top. As RPI just really can't get anything going. Just very, very uh, lackadaisical down on the ice is a good word for it uh, here on senior night. Face off to the left of Kasdor. Hubella versus Gerbrick. Pair of 17s. Puck's drop. Who's got it? And it's RPI behind the net. And they turn it over behind the net. It's taken by Rankin. He goes far side into the corner, gets hit. And now coming in to take it is Ciro. Ciro and Rankin. Rankin behind the net. Rankin tries to pull it out front. Turns, takes a shot. It goes through the crease to the far side. At the far point, kept in by the Tigers. Tip out front and tip it right back to the blue line. And the engineers break the other way. Rubella crosses the blue line. Rubella into the faceoff circle. Has a poke checked away. The Tigers find some space. Looking near side for Rankin, a little bit too far. The engineers break that up, and now DeVito was offside right as he got the puck at the blue line. Yeah, DeVito would have been all alone had he not been offside. 14-45 left to play in the second. one nothing. Uh, Princeton over RPI. Uh, shades of 1985 and George Savinas, but this time they did call DeVito on the offside. Not saying he was offside this is back in 1985, but... You know, that's debatable. 14.45 left to play in the second. one nothing. Princeton over RPI. Engineers win the faceoff in the center ice area. Grant ahead for Miller. Tied up in front of the RPI bench. Now dumped in by the engineers. Princeton, Pompey on the far side. Princeton over to the near side. Berlin has to feed it back. And crowd cheering about a hit as Princeton ices the puck. And... The Princeton player, Berlin, who got hit, is a little bit shaken up on this. The trainer's coming out partly onto the ice. Yeah, and RPA, you know, it was legal, um, but they have to do something to get themselves into this game and to even get the crowd into this game, as there's really no energy whatsoever in this building. Uh, and, and it's showing on the ice. There's no energy on the part of the players at all. Um, almost like that they're not eager to tie this game up. 14-24 left to play in the second. one nothing Princeton over RPI. Skirbrick against Miller to the left of Finney. Uh, etiquette lesson? Yep. Perhaps we can try this again. Puck's dropped. Scoots around the faceoff circle. Back to Grant at the point. Into the corner. Engineers can't center it. Tigers have it in the corner. Along the boards, ahead for Rankin, into the neutral zone. Sabo has to go off his stick at the blue line. Engineers pass across ice to Grant. Grant has to go back and get the puck. 14 to go exactly in the second. one nothing. Princeton leads here in Troy. Driven in by the Engineers, deflects all the way around, and now we've got a two-on-two -two break to go in the other way. Into the zone come the Tigers. Shot in the slot, whizzes past Kasdorf and goes up into the netting. Some out-of-town scores for you on the men's side. Um, these are all in the second period. Clarkson. Leeds Yale one to nothing. Colgate and Harvard uh, tied at two. Here, obviously, it's one nothing. Princeton uh, Union and Quinnipiac uh, scoreless tie. Brown and St. Lawrence tied at one, and Cornell leads Dartmouth one to nothing. Face off to the left of Kasdorf. Schrader emerges with possession. Near side. Engineers. Moore sends it off the glass down ice. This should be icing against RPI. Yep. 
almost a collision along the backboards, but the faceoff will come back to the RPI side of the ice. Yep, 13-39 left to play in the first RPI, again looking for that home, ice, uh, home run pass. And Princeton just has a defender back, so when they uh, miss the pass, it goes down for the icing, and we come back to the other side and do it again. Face off to the right of Kasdorf, won by the Engineers. Hampton leaves it back for Moore. Moore to Hampton, down ice. Nanny gets a tip, no icing. To the right of Finney, makes the puck comes off the backboards. Taken by the Tigers, near side. Off a couple of skates, but the Tigers somehow maintain possession through all that. And in the neutral zone, Kuffner gets it up for Verano. Verano behind the net, gets a stick on it. Puck off to the side of the net, taken by Bourbonnet. He's going to drive it down nice. A race to the faceoff dot, and Nanny's going to get there first. A lot of speed from Nanny. He beats Anderson to the faceoff dot, prevents an icing. Engineers Bourbonnet races in to get the puck off to the side of the net. Backhander goes out in front. Shot from the slot taken by Fulton is going to miss. As it was kind of bouncing around, he had a little bit of trouble with that one. Puck to the far half boards. Princeton. Pops the puck up in the air, comes down, can't clear it out. Engineers face off circle. Gillespie trying for a backhander towards the net, can't get the puck away. Now Gillespie gets it back in, turns, tries to take a shot, but his stick was tied up. The engineers send the puck behind the net, near ice side. Princeton gets there first. Kuffner couldn't get the puck though. Fulton has it. Fulton to Gillespie. Gillespie can't control it for a backhander. Puck's just bouncing around, and RPI is not getting the bounces right now. Engineers to the far faceoff circle. Another shot gets deflected twice, goes into the netting, and that'll stop play, which is a break for Princeton right now. Well, that offense totally generated by Lou Nanny turning on the Jets and beating the defender to prevent the icing. And he and Bourbonnet and Gillespie and Fulton on this, uh, later on generating the event, but great job by Lou Nanny uh, to prevent that icing and start something for the engineer offense. 12-14, left to play the second. one nothing, Princeton on top. Rubella on the faceoff against Foster, who's got the goal, won by the Tigers. They'll break the puck out. Into the zone, Rankin has it, his shot misses, and Kasdorf tried to touch it, but it was a little bit too far away from him. Engineers knock the puck out of the zone. Loser gets a bit of trip on it in the neutral zone, but the Tigers go back and get to the puck first. Lilsgren falls down trying to find his way to the puck. Near side, Tigers, Tevis sends it up ice. Looking for Foster along the near side of the Tigers. Can't find him. DeVito steals the puck away towards the net. Finney knocks that one over to the far ice boards. Engineers get it back to Wilson at the blue line. Near side for Grant. Grant shot. Hits the defender out front. Tigers, Rankin feeds it back. Or pardon me, that's Robinson feeds it back. Tigers, Robinson on the near side as he got the puck from Davis. Can't get it out of the zone though, his RPI is going to switch up behind all this. Tigers behind the net, can't get it away from the combination of Miller and Orval. Orval ties the puck up in the far corner. 11.15 to go here, period number two. Princeton one, RPI nothing. This is WRPI Troy with engineer hockey from Troy, New York in the Houston Fieldhouse. Curse Ed DeGarian on the call for you. Engineer still in possession in their zone. Backhander right out in front, hits a defender out front as the backhander from Orval ended up going into the chest of Tevis. Puck back out to the blue line and finally sent out by Princeton. Good pressure by RPI in the last two, two and a half minutes of play here in Troy, but no goals to show for it as RPI still trails one nothing. Back across the blue line. Shot taken by Wood, goes off Finney and into the netting and out of play. And, uh, RPI yeah, really pressuring with their offense and really playing now inspired in it as they're really beating Princeton to the loose pucks and being physical, uh, but nothing to show for it. Uh, one nothing Princeton on top of RPI, 10-43 remains in the second. Face off to the left of Finney, back out to the blue line. Papavesis along the half boards, looking for Gillespie. He couldn't glove it down. Puck goes to the far side. Fulton is over there now. The Tigers knock it ahead and it goes back to center ice. Engineers have to drive it in again. Behind the net. Pompey. Feeds it back. Princeton looking for some space here. And they get some. And the puck's tipped in the neutral zone. There won't be icing on this play as Berlin got a little bit of a tip on it. Puck goes to the faceoff circle. Princeton was changing all their personnel behind him. So there was no chance for them to take advantage of this. Fulton. Uh, takes the puck into the zone, but then had stripped away from him in the slot. Princeton's counterattack dies. RPI's clearing attempt goes right to the Tigers at the blue line. 
And now Princeton, they'll dump the puck down ice. Serbic sent it in. Skirbic, pardon me, sent it into the zone. Behind the net, free puck goes to the Tigers, to the far corner. Back out to the blue line. Anderson takes a shot, deflects, and goes into Kasdorf, and he holds on. 9.38 left to play in the second. 1-0 Princeton over RPI shots, now 16-10 in favor of the engineers, but nothing to show for it. And uh, RPI seems to be going high on both Finney, but uh, Finney making a lot of shoulder saves. Um, and Princeton still continues to lead, and even though RPI has the better part of the pressure of this period. Princeton with the only goal this period as we were scoreless after one. Schrader emerges from the RPI zone with the puck. Drives it in, behind the net. Engineers, can they get to it? Not at the moment. Puck to the near half boards. Princeton sends it down ice. Is this another race for the puck? Wilson has to go back and play it to try to keep it away from Rich. Puck behind the net. Nobody sees that it goes into the corner. Bourbonnet. Blue line. To the left for Schrader. Crosses the Princeton blue line. Centering pass. It goes off the skate of Verano. RPI to the near, or pardon me, to Nanny behind the net. Sends it out to the far faceoff circle. Now the puck into the far corner. Tied up there. Anybody emerging from the scrum with this puck? And finally, Princeton. I thought they were going to pass it straight to Bourbonnet, but it turns out it goes to a Tiger. And then Princeton clears. Far side, more. We've got a Tiger getting knocked down in the neutral zone, but there may have been a hit before that as well. Crowd reacting to it. Puck is stripped away from Moore in the neutral zone by Kuffner. Engineers get it back, dump it in. Princeton. They'll take the puck as RPI switched up people. Clear to the neutral zone. Fulton turns, goes back the other way. Crossing the blue line, but then it scoots out into the neutral zone, and the RPID has to pick it up. Rapavessis and Bradley back there. They turn it over to the Tigers, and the other way goes Foster. Tigers cross the blue line, but they're offsides on the play, and this game has become phenomenally boring. 808 left to play in the second. one nothing. Princeton over RPI. And you're absolutely right, Kirk. There's just no energy whatsoever. Uh, it started to pick up there a little bit when RPI put pressure on, but uh, nothing doing. Foster against Bubella in the neutral zone. Engineer dump in, stopped. Princeton, cross ice. Foster crosses the blue line. Foster face off circle shot, saved by Kasdor, and he holds on. Again, RPI has to uh, find their defense. They have to find their offense first. But, uh, <laughs> more, they have to find their, their defense as well uh, to, uh, you know, prevent Princeton from taking these shots. 7:55 left to play in the second. One nothing RPI over Princeton. Foster against Miller to the right of Kasdorf. One by RPI. Wilson. Far right side can't get it out of the zone. Turns it over to the Tigers at the blue line. Uh, luckily for RPI, they can't do anything with it, and now RPI ices the puck. Nope, no whistle. They still play, and it's a shot in net. I thought I heard a whistle. They're still playing. Apparently, Finney thought. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> some of the players thought there was a whistle. I thought I heard a whistle. RPI had an opportunity after that because some of the players stopped playing, and we're still underway here. Puck's still in the Princeton zone, as they've had some opportunities, RPI has, and now it's going to be cleared out by the Tigers and sent all the way down ice, and no icing that way, and that time I didn't hear a whistle. I, I, I'm honest to God, I thought I heard a whistle on that. And the puck is sent into the Tigers zone by the engineers, sent out by the Princeton Tigers, and now it's back to the RPI blue line. Moore has it. He turns it over in the neutral zone, and the Tigers send it in on net after they've just touched up, and it's saved by Kasdor. Near side, Gillespie up ahead to Rodriguez. Rodriguez settles the puck, crosses the blue line with it. Rodriguez into the corner. An engineer falls down. That was Gillespie just outside the net, and now the puck's out of play, and that'll stop play. Okay, was there a whistle? I didn't hear one, but but then again, I've been known to hear, to hear things when there wasn't and not hear things when there was. So you can't take my word for it, but bottom line is the players thought there was a whistle, and Finney, did, Finney made the save. So. Finney made the save, but part of Princeton on that, that sequence didn't continue playing, which is why I thought also there was a whistle, because they appeared to react to it as well. After the faceoff, no engineer shot on net. Block shot, but nothing on net. Princeton blocking a lot of shots in today's game. Princeton crossed the blue line. They had touched up, and it doesn't really fuck doesn't go far across the blue line. They'll try it again, 
And Rankin takes a shot, and that pops up in the air, comes behind the net. Rankin racing in, can't get to the puck in time. Princeton, they'll feed it out front. Top of the face, sickle shot saved by Kasdorp. Loose to his side, and now he'll cover it up. That's just the nature of the game, though. I mean, that's, that's the way things are going in this game. 6-13 left to play in the second. one to nothing. Princeton over RPI. Shots 18-13 in favor of the Engineers. But on the scoreboard, Princeton leads. And uh, that time there's a whistle as we're getting ready for the faceoff. Thanks, Ed. <laughs> Weekend. But they're not doing well on the scoreboard, trailing by one here to the Tigers. Puck fine, just face off to the left of Kasdorf, an RPI win. They're doing pretty well at the face off tonight, especially in comparison to way into the RPI zone. Wilson to the neutral zone. Tigers intercept. RPI trying to knock the puck away. Tigers get it back again. They'll backhand the puck into the RPI zone. Zero sent it in. Princeton changes everybody. Kasdorf gets the puck. Engineers pass to Bourbonnet at the blue line. Is tipped, and it goes to Tevis. Tevis falls down behind the net. Engineers can't center the puck. Anderson gets there, gets the puck behind the net off the board to the far right corner. Nanny for RPI in that corner. Nanny behind the net. Backhander centering pass. Goes to the Tigers. Off the boards. A little bit too far for Anderson. Along the, the, the boards on the far side. Moore takes a shot that deflects. Goes off the backboards to Hampton now. Far side. Moore moves into the faceoff circle. Moore. Trying for the wraparound. Moore saved by Finney. Rebound shot saved. Puck's loose to the side, into the crease, and it's still loose out front. Finney went diving for it, didn't get to the puck. The engineers never had a chance to take a shot, as there were multiple players for each team out there, including a defender lying on the ice at one point. DeVito gets the puck as it's along the near ice side and went through the slot again. And now Princeton's going to get it out of the zone. Princeton with a three on two break the other way. Kuffner has trouble handling the puck. Gets up. Gets it in the corner for the Tigers, and RPI has got strength back there now on D. 4.40 to go here, second period. Princeton one, RPI nothing. Bucks in the far faceoff circle. Tigers are kind of out of gas right now. They've got to replace people, and RPI dumps the puck down ice. In the engineer side of the zone, behind the net, DeVito hits one of the Tigers. We're well, probably in the Princeton side of the zone. DeVito hits one of the Tigers, gets the puck back. It's behind the net. Engineers, 10 <laughs> DeVito deflect off Kubella. Kubella was there, Lillipin was there. DeVito played the puck behind the net, and I think it did hit, hit off Kubella. 420 left to play in the second. RPI tied this game at one. They're saying it's Kubella on, on the replay, but we'll see. Uh, we're not totally sure, uh, so we'll watch the replay and see. Yeah, it's Kubella. Yep. So we're tied at one here in Troy. RPI versus Princeton with about 4.10 left to go here in period number two. As the crowd suddenly has something to cheer about as RPI has found its way onto the scoreboard. Back to action. Pucks in the RPI side of the ice. Engineers. Gubella gets enough of it to clear it down nice, but that's going to be icing against RPI, and there's another whistle. 3.54 left to play in the second. Uh, one to one RPI. Gubella ties this one up. On a Bubella's goal, uh, assistant Jimmy DeVito, uh, and we'll see if they give who they, if they give another one out. Uh, nope, just DeVito getting the assist. Uh, one to one RPI and Princeton. Face off to the right of Kasdorf in the RPI side of the ice. Won by the Engineers to the half boards. Orval, Skurbrick comes in. Orval turns around, finds the puck underneath him, moves it out towards the blue line. Getting some help now. Liljegren crosses the blue line. Liljegren and Orval into the zone. Centering pass underneath Orval. Couldn't get a stick down. Tigers the other way. Skurbrick backhands it. Goes in on net from the near side for Ambrosia. But a save by Kasdorf and he leaves it for the D. Engineers to the neutral zone. Orval backhands the puck into the Princeton zone. Taken by the Tigers. Near eye side. Princeton. Off the boards, they have to feed it back. It goes past Nelson, the engineers now have it. Orval gets it back from the other corner, sends it through the crease, not really touched by Finney. It goes all the way to the other side, brings it into the zone, but Rankin is offside just across the blue line. So 2.59 remains in the second period of play. Bubella, uh, Milos Bubella uh, tying this one up at one. It was just a scrum in front of the net. Bubella was right there at the right time. Uh, and a good vision by DeVito to see Bubella uh, slightly open and uh, feeding him a nice pass. 
uh, to tie this one at one. Face off in front of the Princeton bench on the far side of the ice. Bench is on the opposite sides here at the Houston Fieldhouse. Penalty box is on the same side as the RPI bench. Puck driven into the zone and cleared out by RPI. Crossing the blue line and now taking a shot were the engineers. And that was Borbonet. Goes off the glass and the puck goes all the way back out to the neutral zone. Kasdorf slows it down as it makes its way to the RPI zone. And the engineers clear. Nanny near side. Borbonet into the zone. Borbonet drop pass. Schrader, his shot misses by about six inches to the right of Finney. Missed the net entirely. RPI, Bradley tried to send it down ice. The linesman skated in front of that. Didn't even know Bradley was behind him and blocks it. Now a shot from Borbonet fought off by Finney and goes off the glass to the far ice side. Puck in the far corner of the Princeton zone. A little over two to play here in period number two. Tied at one. Engineers near side. Princeton player loses a stick. Prapovestis gets the puck and it bounces around and finally comes down behind the net. RPI had hit it with a high stick and that's wiped out as Princeton takes possession of the puck. Tigers dump it into the RPI zone. Immediately secured by the engineers to the neutral zone. Wood back to his blue line for Bradley. Red line, Bradley, blue line. Brings it across. Brings it over to the near ice corner. Backhander who passed most everybody to the far side. Taken by Foster. Foster gets it to the boards, on half boards on the far side. Now an errant pass, and then this one goes back to the RPI zone. 125 to go, period number two. Tied at one as the engineers dump the puck in. Tigers take it. Far side, just across the blue line. RPI has to touch up. They do, whoop, Wood turns it right over in the neutral zone, and the Tigers now are offside as the man who jumped off the bench to get into the play had to go back and touch up and hadn't done that yet. Yeah, 114 left to play in the second. Jay Wood almost uh, with a bad turnover, but fortunately for him, they were outside. Uh, the Princeton Tigers were. Uh, shots 21 to 14 in favor of the Engineers. Uh, tied at one and the scoreboard. Gillespie on the faceoff against Skurbrick in front of the Princeton bench. Ron Fogarty with a good view of this faceoff. This is basically directly in front of him. Won by the Tigers and driven in by Anderson. Puck to the far side, around to the near side. Gillespie clears it out, turns it over to Princeton. Anderson in the neutral zone, waits for a team to touch up, and dumps the puck into the RPI zone. Kasdor placed behind the net before he was about to get bothered by one of the Princeton players. Along the far half boards with 50 seconds to go in the period, uh, the puck is not moving very much, if at all. As it's getting kicked around, but nobody has possession. Engineers ultimately feed it back to Wilson, over to the near eye side. Gillespie has it. Blue line, red line. Gillespie into the zone. Face off circle. His shot. Finney with the save. Yeah, Gillespie with an off angle shot, but that's what you have to do as 34 seconds remain in the second as Kenny Gillespie trying uh, to get on the goal, but Colton Finney right there to cover up. Face off to the left of Finney. As Princeton a little uh, slow getting to this face off. Skurbrick against Borbonet. Kicks back towards the blue line, taken by Prapovesis. Feeds it behind the net. Borbonet can't handle it as he was getting hit. And Princeton gets it out to the neutral zone. Davis sends it up ice. Tevis brings it across the blue line. Tevis and Verano. Verano, pardon me. Both go behind the net. Neither one gets the puck as it goes to RPI. Krapovest is 10 seconds to go in the period. Up ice for Borbonet into the zone. Borbonet face off circle into the slot. Borbonet takes a shot. Saved by Finney. Loose in front. Still loose. And we finally get a whistle as the puck ended up on the near side when they blew the whistle as players were falling down in the crease. And I guess we're just going to call a face-off on this. No, nothing, anything special or anything. Well, they lost track of the puck as they thought, as Finney had it covered. I don't think he did. As we're watching the replay now, he, no, no, he did not have he it covered, but the referee lost track of the puck as he was behind the net. It, it, looked like, it looked to me like it was underneath Kuffner at one point, but it wasn't intentional. Kuffner was kind of facing the net, and the puck was behind him. Oh, Princeton has the black uniforms. The puck is black and understandable why the referee couldn't see it. So. Yeah, so they ultimately blew the whistle, even though it was technically not covered up. Face-off to the left of Finney is 
tied up in the face-off circle, and that does it to period number two. Both teams with a goal. We are tied at one after 40 minutes, Troy. Yeah, and like you had said, Kurt, that this game has really been really boring. Even that goal by Bubella just happened out of nowhere. As uh, RPI just had the puck uh, lately behind the net, and DeVito was playing good just finding Bubella, and Bubella putting it in the back of the net. It didn't happen, you know, it, it just happened just like that. Um, but regardless, Save RPI tied this one up at one while keeping uh, Princeton off the board. Um, and RPI has to, you know, try to find their offense in the third period, which has been difficult this season. Third period lately has been brutal for RPI, so they're in a tie game going into the third. They can't afford brutal tonight. So we'll see what uh, Seth Appert uh, prepares for the third period to, uh, to try to win this game. We'll be back in a few minutes for the second intermission score here after two periods of play. Is RPI 1 Princeton 1. You're listening to live coverage of Engineer Hockey on 91.5 FM, WRPI Troy. Number 165, 165, you're the winner of tonight's Rock Chuck and Punk contest. You win a gift certificate to The Rock in downtown Troy. The Rock, proud sponsor of RPI Hockey. The Hudson Mohawk Figure Skating Club is in its 64th year of offering learn to skate classes here at Houston Fieldhouse. They take place on Saturday mornings and all classes are for all ages. For more information, check out the program at hmfsc.org.
RPI in effect. RPI in Kentucky would like to thank GE, Malls, SEFQ, CDPHP, The Rock, Boucher and Clark Financial Group, Jenny, Montgomery Scott, Price Chopper, AFSCO Fence, Yankee Trails, Red Front Pizza, Tri-City Rentals, Dunkin' Donuts, Toyota, Ben & Jerry's, Warren W. Fane, Auto Task, and Tri-City Valley Tax, all proud sponsors of RPI High.
Four teams, two days, one champion. From the drop of the first puck to the raising of the White Law Cup, ECAC Hockey skates into the winner's sports capital of the world, Lake Placid, on March 18-19 for one of the premier postseason conference tournaments in the country. All session tickets are available now at the Olympic Center box office by calling 518-523-3330 or visit online at whitefacelakeplacid.com. Polytechnic Institute in Troy, New York. For today's third grade of action between the RPI Engineers and the Princeton Tiger Senior Night here in Troy, and the Garen along with Kurt Stark on the call for you in your home friends near Hopkins 91.5 of WRPI Troy. Score after two periods of play is RPI 1, Princeton 1. Before we get started with the third period of play, we'd like to thank the rest of the union with the the funding for WRPI and our club related activity of the Institute, including WRPI's coverage of men's and women's ice hockey football and baseball. I'd also like to thank you for listening around the World Wide Web. Point your progress at www.wrpi.org. And you can hear a broadcast 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So long as WRPI is broadcasting, we will provide broadcast on our internet feed. Once again, it is www.wrpi.org. Teams to switch sides. You'll be Princeton going left to right, RPI right to left. Across the radio dial here in period number three. Engineers win the faceoff tied at one. Bradley 
Eases the puck into the zone behind the net to the far side. Nanny has it on the stick in the corner, keeps it away from the Tigers. Gorbine tries to feed it out front, and it's saved by Finney, who immediately, the puck went into him, and he immediately turned around to look into the net, but it was tied well, up in his equipment. That one actually hit the post and bounced back off and got stuck in his equipment. I heard, I heard it clang off the metal. So I don't know if it was the puck or his stick, but def something definitely clanged off the metal and came right back out. I, I didn't think the puck went back, hit and came back out. That's I why he looked back. And just win the faceoff, shot goes high and over the net. Taken by the Tigers, turned over to the engineers. Danny in the faceoff circle, has the puck poke checked away. Tigers, neutral zone, get themselves out of trouble. We're 30 seconds into period number three, tied at one here in Troy. Engineers, Bradley back, blue line. Nanny sends the puck in, barely onside. I'll be honest with you, I thought Borbany was offside on that play, but they don't call that. One of the Tigers loses his stick, but manages to do a nice soccer play, kick the puck to a teammate, and the Tigers clear. Back to the RPI side of the ice. Zero comes in, ties up Grant, but doesn't get the puck. Grapovesis to Bourbonnet neutral zone. Schrader on the far side, sends the puck in, and he's going to go to the bench for a change. RPI changing up all five. Over a minute gone by here, period number three, tied at one, RPI versus Princeton. Tigers are waiting. Anderson behind the net. Starts up ice. Near side for Nelson. Tips it ahead. At the RPI blue line, engineers send it out of the zone. Tigers kick it right back in, and now RPI sends it out. And is this icing? Nope. Nope. Can't be icing. Finney has to play it. So no icing against RPI. Tigers with possession. Neutral zone. Into the RPI zone. Hallisey, his centering pass, goes to the faceoff circle. Foster backhands it wide of the net. Puck on the far side. Engineers, DeVito, beats the puck behind the net. Hellesy can't get there in time. Engineers have it. Near side for Wilson. Wilson, blue line. Up ahead, DeVito. Red line, blue line. DeVito, right out front for Bellasco. Great pass again from Jimmy DeVito to Milo Fubella. Jimmy DeVito. Actually, he saw Pavella out of the corner of his eye. Pavella at the time of the pass didn't have much faith, but Pavella has that long arm reach. Jimmy DeVito puts it right on the backhand tape of Milo Pavella, who flips it behind Finney in the back of the net for a 2-1 lead. Great, great play by Jimmy DeVito. 18.02 left to play in the third, 2-1 RPI. Engineers closer to getting that win that they need after the faceoff. Puck goes in towards the net. The shot in on net is saved by Finney off the glass, off the back of the net, and the puck is still there. Tigers to the near side. Can't move it up ice. Orval in the corner, feeds it around to the far ice side. Tigers try to whack at it and get it out, but they end up sending the puck out of play. There'll be a face off in the Tigers zone. 17.38 left to play in the third. One minute and 54 seconds into the third, into the third period was Milos Pubella from Jimmy DeVito and Jared Wilson to give RPI a 2-1 to lead over Princeton. Face off goes back to the blue line in the Princeton zone. Bradley takes a shot, saved by Finney. I don't think he really saw that with all the bodies in front of him, but it hit his pad. Bradley, cross ice crap of Estes. Eases the puck into the corner. Tigers, Pompey, misplays the puck. Engineers had it, but then lost it in the corner to Pompey. Pompey gets to the blue line, up ice, tipped away as he tried to pass to Virano, and the engineers in the other direction. Borbonet takes a shot, and that deflects off Nelson's stick and goes into the glass into the far ice boards. Three gone by here, period number three. RPI with the goal, they lead two to one over Princeton. Puck along the near boards in the Princeton zone. Schrader turns around, feeds it into the corner. Gillespie's there. Schrader going off to finish up a line change. Gillespie. Fulton's now on the ice. Gillespie backhander, played up front, and he gets a rebound off Finney, and then sends the next one wide of the net, and it's sent out of the zone by the Tigers. Tipped in the neutral zone. That negated any chance of an icing, and Princeton changes everybody. Engineers with the puck. Fulton, neutral zone. Poked into the middle, Grant backhands the puck in. Anderson takes it behind the net. Far side, Tigers 
kind of dangerous moving in front of their own net. Foster, but now the Tigers head down ice. Rankin crosses the blue line. Rankin stops at the top of the faceoff circle. Rankin feeds it into the middle. Shot, and it goes off Tansdorf. It comes to the near ice side. Tigers with a pretty decent opportunity there. Engineers, though. Rodriguez at the blue line. Crosses to the center ice area, but loses control of the puck. Tigers turn to go the other way. Four gone by in the third. 2-1 RPI leads in the slot. Everybody's falling down there. Is taking a tumble with Ciro along with Grant. That confusion gives RPI possession to the neutral zone. Princeton back in. The puck just out of the zone. And they're going to call off sides on that? No, that was actually outside the zone. Now they're going to finally blow the whistle. Yeah, Princeton's turning around saying the puck was out off sides, and it was. Yeah, it was very clearly off sides. There should have been a whistle about three seconds ago. But okay, here for, here for RPI, you got your goal, which you needed. Now you got to play defense and keep Princeton off the board, which was RPI's problem last night against Corner Piac. So we'll see tonight if they can uh, finish what they didn't last night. 15 37 left to play in the third. 2 to 1 RPI. Face off. In front of the penalty box is kind of like right in front of us here. Goes into the Princeton zone. What happens? And Bubella, nope. That's going to be Lusegren. Feeds it to the far point. Shot saved by Finney. And that was off the stick on the far side of Hampton. Engineers at the blue line. Moore knocks it. He was right at the blue line. Ended up knocking it across the blue line. Princeton's offside. So that'll be another whistle. Yeah, Princeton couldn't seem to get out of their own way. Two forwards trying to go for the puck. And just resulted offside. 15-11 left to play in the third. 2-1 to one, RPI over Princeton. And RPI really has to uh, keep the offense uh, going. 32-36 is your attendance for tonight's contest. And in the 50s today here in Troy, that's not going to last. The temperatures are going to drop. Just in case you're curious, people may have been outside doing stuff today. It's unseasonably warm. Face off. Into the Princeton zone. Engineers to the far point. Prapovesis spins at the point. Sends a puck into the near corner. Orval backhander towards net. Finney sticks that over to the side. That'll count as a save. And the Tigers get it out of the zone. On the right side of the red line. Sent down ice by Sabo. Puck around to the near side. Engineers have it. Wood. Neutral zone. Orval. Orval waiting, waiting, waiting. RPI is way off sides. Yeah, Orval was uh, rushing and he was uh, being tied up by a Princeton defender and Orval had to sort of stop his rush and that just resulted in two RPI forwards going into the zone before the puck. 14-35 with the play of the third. 2-1 to one, RPI over Princeton here at senior night. Face off in front of the Princeton bench. Won by the Tigers. Neutral zone. Bourbonnet. Gets it away from them, sends the puck into the Princeton zone. Borbonet behind the net. Ooh, found Schrader, but Schrader ended up knocking the puck the other way. Wilson takes a shot, and that hits somebody out front. Backhander is saved by Finney, as that was a backhander from Nanny in the faceoff circle. Tigers can't clear it out. Schrader keeps it in. Nope, now he doesn't keep it in. And it goes to the neutral zone, dumped in by Wilson. Engineers have touched up. 14 to go here in period number three. 2-1, RPI leads. Near side, Rich. Sends a cross ice pass up ahead. Tigers are in the zone before the puck goes in. Rankin stops it. He dumps it in. Tigers have to touch up. They'll switch personnel. Kazdorf stops the puck behind the net. Engineers, neutral zone. Turn it over at the blue line. Tevis for Princeton. Gets to the red line, dumps it in. Gets it right back again as RPA knocked it out. Princeton though has to touch up. Engineers with the puck. Behind the net, far side. Hampton along the boards, couldn't clear it down along the boards, now it's tied up. Hampton to Princeton, Tigers feed it back to the blue line. Tevis to the half boards on the far side, and uh, Rankin couldn't keep it in, it's knocked out of the zone. Tevis then falls down, he goes back to him at his blue line, off the boards at the RPI bench, and I could have sworn Princeton was offside right there, they don't call it. Tigers into the zone. Zero, beats it back, face off circle, shot goes over the corner of the net from Robinson. That was actually a pretty good shot. Towards the net again, looking to get a tip from Zero, but the engineer D gets a stick on it and prevents the puck from going on net. RPI knocks it back the other way. No icing on this play. Princeton takes it behind the net. Davis, near side, engineers, Gillespie gets a tip on it. Three on, no, it was a brief three on two. Gillespie gets up, he takes a shot, and goes right into the gut 
and Finney holds on. Yeah, it's a brief three on two. Uh, Kenny Gillespie with a, a good turnover, but he couldn't uh, find the handle of the puck uh, to get a three on two. Uh, so he just decided to shoot it in on, the field, on Finney and see if Finney uh, let up the rebound, uh, but he didn't. So 12.36 left to play in the third, two to one RPI over Princeton. Virano on the faceoff for Princeton wins it to the boards, but in the struggle, RPI found the puck to the far ice corner. Engineers to Prapovestis at the point, turns around and spins it into the corner, almost exactly like he did earlier in this period. I mean, it's eerily similar play. Princeton knocks it out. Back to the RPI engineers at their blue line. Now near side, Fulton takes a shot, Finney gloves it. Yeah, again, RPI is doing what they have to do, keeping the offensive uh, pressure up. Uh, some out of town scores, out of town scores. Clarkson leads Yale 1 0. Colgate and Harvard tied at 3. Uh, Quinnipiac leads Union 2 1 in Schenectady. St. Lawrence and Brown tied at 2 in Providence. And Cornell continues to lead Dartmouth 1 0. Miller on the face off against Skirbick. Skirbick wins it. Princeton two on three, shot saved by Kassor. Big rebound comes to the faceoff circle, and Princeton can't follow up on that. Orval the other way, Orval into the zone. He takes a shot, that was going to miss, but it's sticked aside by Finney. Referee stops the puck from going out on the far side inadvertently, and it goes to Orval, who feeds it behind the net for Wood. Wood can't feed it out front. Finney tried to poke it out of the zone, couldn't get to it. Finally, Princeton clears. Engineers, back to Moore. Hampton on the far side. Dumped it down ice right to the Tigers. Tigers neutral zone, backhanded down ice by Rankin, and the puck's in the near corner to the left of Kasdorf. Engineers behind the net. 11.25 to go, period number three. 2-1, RPI is on top. More in the neutral zone for the Engineers. Right through the legs of a teammate, and the Tigers counterattack. Tigers, left wing board, shot saved by Kasdorf, goes up into the netting, and with that whistle, we'll get a face off in the RPI zone. 11-11 left to play in the third. RPI leads Princeton 2-1. to one. Jake Wood actually lost the stick in front of the bench, and the stick was uh, causing havoc uh, with people down there. And Wood was trying to get it back, uh, but nobody would clear the way, so finally the line would get it back to him. So uh, funny moment there, but uh, nothing doing for Princeton as Kasdorf making the save. 2-1 to one RPI. Face off to the right of Kasdorf. Taken by the engineers, near side. Schrader along the half boards. Up ahead for Bourbonnet. Red line, blue line, Manny into the zone. Big drive and Finney with the save. 10.59 left to play in the third. RPI leads two to one shots, 32 to 17 in favor of RPI. How, how often do you see that, first of all? Um, but RPI doing what they need to do and so far keeping Princeton off the board, getting their goal and uh, holding on to the lead. Foster against Rubella on the faceoff to the right of Finney. Out towards the point, Princeton out of the zone. Foster crosses the red line, on, well, kind of on net, gloved down by Kasdorf, and he's going to leave it for Wilson. Near our side, engineers, along the boards, Lozegren, red line, blue line, Lozegren into the middle, Rubella takes a shot, and that misses. I'm not sure if it had been on net if Finney had a clear view of that. Tigers, Pompey to the far side. Virano sends it off the side of the net as he was in a tussle on the far side of Prapovesis. And RPI eventually clears. Bubella crosses the blue line. Took a little bit more time than his forwards thought he would. And RPI in the dump in after Bubella crossed the blue line. Change up people. Tigers have the puck. Neutral zone. Rich crosses the blue line. Rich. Feeds it back to Kuffner. Kuffner goes into the corner. Rich is ahead of him. Virano out there as well on the forward line for Princeton. Puck behind the net. Engineers to the far side for Bradley. Along the boards. Can't get it out of the zone. Too many bodies. Back towards the blue line. Now RPI pokes it out. Goes in front of the Princeton bench. Poke check doesn't work. And RPI gets it. And it comes over to Wood, who then tries to go back the other way with the shot and misses. Princeton almost with a two-on-one the other way. Nice work by Hampton on D to keep the puck away from the Princeton forwards. Back to the Tigers zone. Finney looks to his left as the puck finds its way to the boards. Now Wood has it right out into the middle for Moore. Moore stops the puck, dumps it into the corner. Engineers, Miller. 
trying to get free. Anderson hits him. Orval comes in. Orval sends the puck along to the boards. To more and more misses, misplays it in the faceoff circle, and the Tigers clear. They're kind of gas, so they're going to start switching up people. Nine to go here, period number three, 2-1. RPI leaves Princeton. Puck into the near side corner of the RPI zone. Hampton gets it. Can't clear it out along the boards. Kept it at the point. Big drive. Save. Loose in the slot. Cleared out by the D, at least to the boards, at least out of immediate trouble. Tigers along the far board. Turn it over in the faceoff circle. Get it right back. Again. Another shot saved by Kasdorf off deflection, and he'll cover. Yeah, Kasdorf's just going to cover and say, hey, guys, I'm just going to cover up, slow it down. As uh, RPI is really keeping the offensive pressure, this is, has been a quality third period. I mean, it's you know still not good, but it's but when you have nothing to compare it to. Comparing <laughs> this third period to the third period I've watched recently, this is magnificent. Yes. Pucks dropped to the right of Kasdor, won by the Engineers. Grant, off the stick, neutral zone, red line. Engineers Nanny sends it in, in the corner. Borbonet hits the Princeton player who got the puck first. That's what the crowd's reacting to. The puck eventually ends up in the near ice corner as Finney's watching to his right. Straighter along the boards. RPI is going to take this all night. Princeton has to do something different. Somebody lost their stick out there. That was the Tiger. He gets it back again. Pop-up comes to the near ice side, not out of the zone as the Tigers are having a lot of trouble clearing right now. Along the blue line, Zero takes it for Princeton, gets dumped into the RPI zone as the engineers go back to take it. A lot of running time here in the third period. Puck gets a couple of players in the neutral zone. Tigers have it. Off the boards, into the zone, and misplayed by Hallisey at the blue line. Princeton, though, gets it back again. Robinson sends it over to his left. Shot gets deflected and comes over to the near ice side for Ambrosia. Along the boards, near side, Schrader takes the puck. Neutral zone, stopped in front of the bench. Pompey has underneath him. He's actually in front of the RPI penalty box. Liljegren comes in, Foster's in there, and Halsey finally gets it, swings it into the middle, but Prepovesis is the only person there. He dumps the puck into the Princeton zone. Around to the near ice side, into the face-off circle, turned over by Brubella to Halsey. And now Princeton. He'll try to rush up ice, and it's poked away at the blue line. Princeton with five out there. I thought they may have had too many. Nothing's going to be called on that. Under seven to go here in period number three. RPI two, Princeton one. Off the glass. Neutral zone. Tigers can't send it down ice. Broken up by the engineers. DeVito dumps it in on net. Has to be played by Finney. RPI changing five. Princeton with the puck at the red line. Sent in by Kuffner. Puck behind the net. Engineers have it. Along the far ice boards. Back to the blue line. Stopped by the Tigers. And there's deflection. Trickles past Kanisdorf and comes to the near ice side. Vierno along the boards. Into the corner. RPI took it away. Moore over to the far side. Now Gillespie along the half boards. Into the neutral zone. Taken away by the Tigers. Princeton gets the red line. Drives the puck in. Kanisdorf stops it behind the net. Princeton changing at least four. Vierno is still out there from the previous line. Back towards the blue line, and the engineers, can they get it out? No, Tigers have it. Top of the face-off circle. Centering pass to nobody. Engineers now send it off the boards, now to the neutral zone. Miller, blue line. He takes a shot, Finney makes the save, and the rebound comes into the near corner. Under six to play here in the third. 2-1, RPI on top. Tigers have the puck in the near ice corner. Whoops, everybody skates right past the puck at one point. That's not a smart move if you're Princeton, because you kind of need the puck to score goals. Engineers have it. Looking for Wilson at the point, a little bit too far, or not enough actually, and the puck goes into the RPI bench. Now we'll stop play with 5.34 to go here in the third. RPI leading 2-1. And a, a good job by RPI, really out hustling Princeton and out, out manning Princeton at this point in the third period. It's starting to take over a little bit, but you know, still Princeton spending a little bit too much time in the zone as I think RPI would like. Puck's dropped in neutral zone, taken by the engineers and dumped down ice on net, and Finney's going to cover this one up. This is looking a lot when like a Cornell game. When Cornell leads in the third, when they're on, when they're playing five, the Cornell six, style, the game just keeps moving, 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 moving before you know what time runs out. Yeah, you know, and that helps RPI, seven, I mean, because they're, they're ahead right now, but Princeton really has to uh, try to get something going. Face off to the left of Finney, taken by the Tigers. Neutral zone, they turn it over to Wilson, he'll dump it the other way. Behind the Princeton net, Bourbonnet races down, gets to the puck first. 
in the far corner. Now behind the net is RPI really only pushing two forwards down ice at this point. Foster brings it the other way, across the blue line. He takes a shot, rebound into the slot, cleared out by the RPID, and now out of play. That'll be a face-off in the RPI zone. Yeah, RPI just knocking the puck out of play. Uh, face-off coming in the RPI zone, 5.02 remaining in the third. Uh, RPI just has to weather the last five minutes. Um, you know, you hate, to, you hate to say it as RPI is up 2-1, to one, but time's running down. You know, Ron Fogarty is starting to think about when to pull his goalie for RPI. If that happens, you have to score the empty net goal to put this game away. And they scored one last night, they could have beaten Quinnipiac. Instead, Quinnipiac scored and then won it in overtime. Our Princeton, pardon me, wins the faceoff. Shot from the point. Everybody ducks on that one, especially Kuffner. It was right for his head. Comes off the glass and out of the zone. Dumped back in by the Tigers. 4.50 to go, third period. 2-1 RPI lead. Puck in the near corner of the zone. Virano goes down. Gets it, digs it out, back to the point. Nelson, his shot goes off Liljegren to the half boards and taken by Bubella. Blue line, off Liljegren into the Princeton zone. Liljegren behind the net, goes to the far right side. Liljegren back out to the point. Engineers still have it. Bubella in the faceoff circle. Bubella towards the net, sticked away by Finney. Puck in the near corner. DeVito gets hit. Collision behind the net, taken by the Tigers to the far right side. I'm not sure what the plan was there for Robinson. He kind of confused his team up. Nelson tried to send it down. Nice fans on it. Lilsgren seals the puck. Gets it to DeVito in the faceoff circle. His shot blocked by the defender in front of him, Anderson. Back to the blue line. That shot by Moore, fought off by Finney. Uh, he wasn't sure what to do with that one. I think it was coming right for his head. And Princeton gets the puck. They'll clear it down ice. Under four to play in the third. RPI leading Princeton two to one. Five fresh skaters out there for the Tigers. Puck behind the RPI net, near side for Moore. Neutral zone, was that tipped? Yep, it was tipped, no icing. Rodriguez goes to the far corner to get it. Now behind the net, Wood. So Rodriguez in the far corner, back to Wood. Misplays the puck, it's underneath one of the Tigers now. Davis, now it goes to Wood. Wood trying to turn around and take a shot, but he's getting hit by Davis. Face off cycle, Miller takes a shot, and that goes over the net. To the far right side, along the boards. Grant keeps it in along the boards, engineers. Back out towards the point. Princeton's going to get it. Can't clear it out past Miller. Who stops it. Sends it down nice. Rodriguez trying for the wraparound. Doesn't make it. Backhander towards the crease. It's sticked away by Finney. Puck goes up in the air. Comes down in the slot. And I think that may have hit something. Or they're calling a high stick. I don't know. And now we've got some pushing and shoving afterwards. They're going to call a high stick. I didn't catch that. But afterwards, some of the players are getting into a mild tussle. And the officials are coming in to break it up. Yeah, the referee behind the play before the tussle started, you were watching the tussle ball. I saw him calling the high stick um, against, I think he uh, called it against Princeton. 3 0 6 left to play in the third. 2 to 1 RPI over Princeton. It has to be against Princeton because the face off staying in the zone. If it was against RPI, it was move out of the zone. So RPI, 40 shots on goal. Princeton, 20. RPI, so it's a 2 to 1. Ratio there, and it's a two to one ratio on the score. RPI two, Princeton one with 3.06 to go in today's game. A quick one. So five minutes before, it's 8.55. This could actually finish before nine o'clock. It's been a fast moving third period. Puck drop goes back to the point for Prapovesis. Tip in the slot, not on net. Backhanded by Corbin, a save by Finney. Loose to his right and goes behind the net. Corbinet out to Schrader in the faceoff circle, just knocked away by Ciro. Back to the RPI zone. 2.45 to go in the third. Engineers up by one. Princeton zone. Corbinet in the corner, can't get to the puck in time. Taken by Grabowski. Off the board, doesn't get it out. Schrader keeps it in. To the slot, nobody there for RPI. Hallisey crosses the red line, blue line, dishes it off to his left. Grapovestis goes back into the corner to get it. Goaltender still out there for Princeton. 2.25 to go in the period. Engineers win the puck battle. Lose it at the blue line, though. Princeton backhands it in. They're offside. Krapovestis takes the puck. He'll ease it down ice so RPI can change everybody. Princeton. There's a broken stick out there, but I don't know whose it is. Everybody's got their sticks. There's been plenty of time for everybody to fix that. 2.05 to go in the game. Up by one is RPI. Princeton. Blue line. Really bad play there. It does get touched and there's no icing, but I don't know what Princeton was thinking. There was nobody to follow up on that play as the puck went down ice. 
Engineers have it. 150 to go here in period number three. Turn it over at the blue line. Robinson the other way gets tied up by the RPID. Gets the puck now into the slot. Goes to the faceoff circle and taken by Grubella. He backhands it down ice. Princeton has to play this no icing. They turn it over to Grubella out front. Off Finney into the slot. Lilgerman was looking the other way. Couldn't do anything with it. Back in the other direction. Robinson towards the net, sticked aside by Kasdorf. Loose in the crease. Kasdorf makes a save as he was lying down and hit his left leg while he was lying down in the crease. Princeton with two good opportunities there. They can't find the back of the net. 120 to go here in the third. RPI up by one. Engineers will sky one into the Princeton zone. This will be icing against RPI. And I bet Seth Affer takes his time out now. Well, yeah, I, I bet after it takes his time out, and I bet that Finney comes out of the net for Princeton, seeing how the faceoff comes all the way down in the engineer zone. Uh, shot 41 to 20 in favor of the Tigers, and uh, we might both be wrong here, though. Well, it might be RPI going out like they're going to take the faceoff, and then call the time out. Yeah. And now they're going to call the now timeout. Now they're going to call the timeout. So one part of that down, 113 left to play in the third. This really has been a s solid third period. We'll say Time solid for RPI. Princeton. I mean, it, Princeton is not as good as a team as Quinnipiac. Uh, I think that's fair to say. Um, but, you know, RPI is playing the third period. They need to play against a team like Princeton. Had they played the third period like this against Quinnipiac, might have been a different story, might not have been. Uh, but they're playing the third period they need to play right now against Princeton. Checking the shot totals. That can't be right, can it? They've got 20 shots for Princeton. They had 20 shots for Princeton coming into this period. Yeah. That, that's, that's not right. Yeah. Something's not kosher there. Oh, I see what happened. If you look at the live stats, everything's being counted for the second period. Literally, literally everything, because the third period goal is being counted for second period. Well, I was right now too as Finney comes out of the net, and uh, with 5:25 left to play in Schenectady, the Union did the same thing. Quinnipiac did the RPI and tied that game up at three. Six skaters out there for Princeton, 113 to go, and Princeton's calling Princeton it. No, Princeton took the first timeout. RPI's now taking the timeout. Oh. Timeout. <laughs> okay, then. We don't see it very often where both teams take the timeout, uh, essentially, on the same stop as your play. So I'm not sure what the shots on goal were. Oh, wait a minute. We do know. Princeton had 14, so they've got six this period. RPI had 23. They've got 18 this period. So RPI is out shooting Princeton 18 to 6. Definitely have good possession. Our, Prince has had a few opportunities here and there, and you're going to get that at times. Just a reminder, you're listening to WRPI Troy with Engineer Hockey from the Houston Fieldhouse. Kurt Studd, Ed DeGarian on the call for you tonight. 113 to go, third period, 2-1 RPI leads as we're in the middle of number second time or second timeout of this stoppage. RPI with a timeout. And then after that, no more timeouts. Well, at least, you know, by the teams. So let's run down some out-of-town scores for you. Clarkson and Yale tied at one. Uh, Harvard and Colgate tied at three. Uh, Quinnipiac and Union, as I mentioned, tied at three. St. Lawrence and Brown tied at two. The only team that's ahead is Cornell over Dartmouth. So uh, things working out in RPI's favor if the score holds up. And Kurt, um, you know, you, you said this game could finish by nine. I think you jinxed us, but... It'll be close. <laughs> It'll be close. Bourbonnet against Skurbrick to their left of Kansdorf. Six skaters out there for Prince, and they trail by one. Puck shot, one by the Tigers. Back to Davis along the blue line. Davis looking for a tip in the slot. Backhander doesn't go in on net. Back to the top of the face. Let's go. Big drive goes over the net. Tigers with a couple of opportunities here. Can't find the net though. Back to Davis along the blue line. Over to the far ice side. Tevis sends it towards the net. Backhanded out now by RPI. 52 seconds left here. Period number three. Tigers have to touch up. Red line into the zone. RPI, can they backhand it out? Touched by a high stick from Princeton. Now gloved down by RPI. And Bourbonnet sends it to the Princeton zone. 40 seconds left. Tigers have possession. Six skaters out for the Tigers. Puck is dumped into the RPI zone. And are there too many men on the ice against Princeton? Uh, he's counting like there are. There were. There were seven guys out there at one point. 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I counted seven on the ice. Yeah. Princeton's going to take a penalty here for two minutes. Nice, nice high for nice high on that. I actually had thought he called icing, but uh, no. nice high on that. When the puck went in front near the Princeton bench, you could see one guy had just come on and the puck was there, and then suddenly he turned around and went back. So. 32.2 seconds left as the faceoff is out of the zone. As RPI goes on a power play, they have to they put somebody in the box. Yeah, somebody should go into the box. They're pointing to the box right now. These scorers are pointing to the box, and they're telling Princeton, you got to send somebody out there. Maybe it wasn't icing. and no, no, now they're opening the box. They're opening the box. That was too many men. Okay, they, they had to send somebody from the bench to the server. As no one's coming over uh, right now. It's going to be Rankin going into the box. So Princeton had six Back skaters out there, then they had seven at one point. Too many men on the ice. RPI with their third power play in the game with 30 seconds left now here in the third period. Face off tied up in the circle. The goaltender's back out there for Princeton Finney. Now he's going to head towards the bench as Princeton moves the puck into the RPI zone. Cleared out by the engineers. 18 seconds to go third period. Five skaters out there for Princeton. They are short-handed right now. 11 seconds to go as the puck is back in the Princeton zone. Engineers now get it. Schrader can shoot for the net at will. He sends it over the net with five seconds to go. Goes off the glass. Princeton's not going to have enough time to go down ice. Nice job by By him actually putting it over the ball, put it far enough down. He knew it wasn't going to get the icing call. And he just finished that one off for RPI. So RPI wins this one here with Princeton two to one. Wasn't a pretty game by any means, but they had it, they did what they had to do. And that would get two points and defeat Princeton. As they uh, look to move up the standings. Uh, but a good solid third period for RPI. Um, and you know they came out with the victory. So you know, if you're Seth Apper and RPI, you take it. You don't complain. You move on to Colgate and Cornell next week. You, you get, you try to get four points there and let the chips fall where they may. As far as the other scores, uh, bottom line, you got to get four points. You came away with two here. Now you got to get four more and let the chips fall where they may. As far as the right. standings are concerned. And just a reminder, St. Lawrence Dartmouth. How are they doing up there? St. Lawrence is tied, and Dartmouth is losing. One nothing Cornell. Okay. Right now, RPI has moved into a tie with those two teams, but they lose the tiebreaker to both teams. So they, they still need another Well, if the, if the St. Lawrence ground, right now there's a tie, yes. But if St. Lawrence gets a point, St. Lawrence moves ahead of RPI by one point. So right, right, and effectively two. And effectively two, correct. As far as RPI is concerned with St. Lawrence and Dartmouth, a tie equals they're a point behind. Add one, whatever the difference is, add one point to that. That's what RPI needs. So while they have right now. The families will join that in just a moment, we'll honor the seniors. This time I'd like to recognize the men's hockey seniors who have just played their final regular season home game for the engineers at Houston Fieldhouse. Before recognizing the players and their families, Rensselaer Athletics and the hockey program would also like to acknowledge a few others. First, the seniors here at Tempe. John Perlman. Emily Leonowski, Devin Glenn, Greg Herman, Sam Haynes, Nate James, Jason Lee, Katie McWiggy, Peter Fink, Jane Thiebault, and Catherine Roklowski. The seniors from the RPI campaign. And next, the members of RPI TV who broadcast countless numbers of games throughout their time here in Troy. The seniors from that crew, Andrea Collins and Le Lexa Aguas. And finally, RPI Hockey would like to recognize the seniors in the student sections who have been faithfully attending the games for their four years here in Troy. And now, time to recognize the eight student athletes from the men's hockey team who in their time have helped the engineers to be nationally ranked in two of their four years while also helping the engineers to the program's highest league finish in 20 years. First up, he's a defenseman from Oakville, Ontario. 
He's played in 60 games, scoring three goals, adding nine assists for 12 total points. He's notched career highs this season with 33 games played, two goals, seven assists, and nine points. He's also blocked 29 shots before tonight's game. Please welcome number six, Phil Hampton. <laughs> Greeting Phil and Center Ice, his mother Sherry Niles, his grandmother Maureen Niles. They're greeted at Center Ice by RPI Director of Athletics, Lee McElroy, and head coach, Seth Appert, as well. Next is a forward from Prior Lady, Minnesota. He's played 145 games, recording 16 goals, 38 assists, and 54 points. Third on the team this season with 18 points on four goals, 14 assists. He ranks second among ECAC hockey forwards in block shots with 35. Is eighth in school history in games played. Welcome number seven, Zach Schrader. <laughs> Joining Zach is parents Devin John Schrader. Next is a forward to Wales from Metzger District of Slovakia. He's played in 132 games, recording 27, no, make that 29 goals, 27 assists, 54 points. The team's active leader in goals and points. He posted a double digit of points in the fourth season, ranks four nationally with three. Next is another player from Oakville, Ontario, a forward who's played in 79 games. He has four goals, 16 assists, 20 points. This season, he appeared in a career-high 31 games, picking up two goals, five assists, and seven points, and a plus six rating. Welcome number 18, Travis Fulton. And here in center race to great Green Travis, his parents Tanya and Brian Fulton, his sisters Tabitha and Brittany, and his fiance Celia D'Agostino from the class of 2016. <laughs> Next is a forward from the scene in New York. He's played in 129 games, scored 22 goals, added 23 assists for 45 points, totaling five goals, four assists, and nine points this year. Two of his tablets have been game winners, including one in overtime at St. Lawrence. He's number 26, Martin Miller. <laughs> now to greet him at center race, his parents, Jackie and Dan Miller, his brother Dan, and his fiance, Sarah Guyman. <laughs> Next is a goaltender from Winnipeg, Manitoba. He played in 82 games, posting a 35-35-8 record with a 2-3-7 goals against a 9-20 save percentage to go along with seven shutouts. This season, he's 10-10-4, 2-2-0 goals against average, a 9-34 save percentage, good for sixth in the country. First in school history in career goals against average and save percentage, he's fourth in shutouts, sixth in saves, seventh in minutes played, ninth in wins. Also the owner of the school single season goals against average mark of 1.62 set as a freshman in 2012-13. Number 33, Jason Kessler. At center ice to greet Jason, his parents Helen and Paul Gaston, and his wife Stacy Gaston. And I think their new baby is here as well. 
now. Next is another goaltender. He's from Weston, Massachusetts. Joined the varsity team after playing one season with RPI's club hockey team. His selfless work ethic and team first mentality have helped make the team what it is today. Welcome number 35, Sam Goodman. Joining Sam at Center Race's parents, Janet Goodman and Mike Goodman for the class of 85, and his girlfriend, Allie Gossman. <laughs> and finally, the captain who hails from Williamsville, New York. He's played in 138 games, scored eight goals, added 25 assists for 33 points. This season, he has a goal, the game winner against Cornell, and five assists for six points while playing in all 33 games. He's second in the country with 83 block shots. Here's number 24, Chris Bradley. <laughs> Joining Chris at center ice, his parents, Linda and Peter Bradley, his brother, Matt, and his girlfriend, Haley Welch. This is a group that has represented the program and the Institute in a first-class manner, your Rensselaer Men's Hockey Senior Class.
Elsewhere in ACAC hockey this evening, couple of finals. In Hanover, Cornell defeated Dartmouth one to nothing. And in overtime, St. Lawrence and Brown, a 2-2 tie. Late in the third period, Yale two, Clarkson one. Middle of the third period, it's Harvard four, Colgate four. And in Schenectady, late in overtime, it's Union 3, Quinnipiac 3.